Hello my Torties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. For those of you who are new, my name is Saskia and I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. So for today's video, we're going to discuss in great detail how to build your wardrobe from scratch. Now, after you watch my first video on how to find your style, the obvious next thing to do is actually to build your wardrobe. So the first thing you should do is really take a look at your career, your current occupation, and what your personal style is. Then determine how compatible they are. This is gonna give you guys a really clear picture on how to set up your wardrobe for success. So let's do some simple math. If your career and your personal style are 100% compatible, then 100% of your wardrobe will reflect your personal style. So if the two are only 30% compatible, then 70% of your wardrobe is going to reflect your career style, and 30% will reflect your personal style. So the percentage that you come up with for compatibility is the percentage of your wardrobe that will reflect your personal style. Simple, right? Now that you know what percentage of your wardrobe needs to reflect your personal style, let's get to building your wardrobe from scratch. So first and foremost, let's start with a clean slate. No, I don't mean getting rid of and throwing everything out. I simply mean take everything out of your closet and let's start sorting. At this point in the process of reinventing yourself, you're probably asking, how do I even clean out my closet? Where do I begin? Well, that'll be discussed in the next video. So make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you know when that video drops. Now, if you haven't watched my first video on how to find your style, put this video on pause, go and watch that video, and come back and continue. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Okay, welcome back. Now that you know what you're keeping, let's start building your basics. It's super important for you to start with your basics, just like it's important to start with a foundation when you're building a house. It helps you build a foundation in your wardrobe that will be super functional and will always center your aesthetic. So get that down first. Your tops, your bottoms, your one pieces, those are super crucial. Take a look at what you already have and think about all the holes that exist in your wardrobe. Refer back to the list that you created when you were cleaning out your wardrobe in order for you to identify where those holes are. See what pieces would serve well as basics in your wardrobe and invest in those first. You'll be surprised how efficient it is to have all your basics in one place and how far you can go with just that alone. Now, shoes are a whole category in itself and those deserve basics as well. So once you find your clothing basics, it's time to look at your shoe staples. You know that pair of shoes that you always think about when you're putting on your outfits and you feel like it would just make the outfit perfect? and you dream about them every time you're getting dressed, those would be considered a basic in your wardrobe. You know those shoes that you just won't let go of even though they are worn to death because they are the absolute perfect match for every single one of your looks? Those would be a basic pair too. A good pair of shoes will take you a very long way. So make sure you get your shoe basics down as well. Now don't make the same mistake that I've made in the past. Do not, I repeat, do not sleep on outerwear. Outerwear can absolutely complete a look for you, especially if you live somewhere where the seasons can get cold. Outerwear should be a functional, fashionable finishing touch. And sometimes that's all you need to pull a look together, that finishing touch. Now the next thing I'm about to say, I say very, very lightly, handbags, accessories, and statement pieces. These are the pieces that will help your outfits stand out and solidify your style, but they should still be very, very functional. More often than not, these pieces are accessories that play a timeless statement piece in your collection. These pieces should still be comfortable, functional, and fit your style. If they don't play nicely in all three categories, in my opinion, it's a hard pass. It probably won't last the test of time. So let's wrap everything up. When I'm consulting a client on building their wardrobe from scratch, I encourage them to go in this exact order in order for them to get a comprehensive, complete wardrobe that reflects their personal style and lifestyle needs. So that pretty much completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. It is a great indicator to me that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm sharing with you and that you're looking forward to having more. I know a great percentage of you who do watch my videos are not subscribed. It costs you nothing, but it helps me a great deal. So please go ahead, don't be shy, join the family and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. See what pieces would, see what pieces would, uh, see what, see
see what pieces would work that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do.